with you. We're just out here on Fifth Street today, and uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about Fifth Street and the work that's been done on both projects of Fifth Street. Uh, I know that we have two uh, uh, different projects, but we want to just talk about uh, the two projects and dispel any myths out there and get to the truth about both of these projects. So could you uh, talk to me today about uh, the work that was performed on this side of Fifth Street, what did we do here on the MDA project, and then tell me um, the timeline on the current project that we looks like we're completing up on, on on the other side here of Fifth Street. Okay, Mayor. Um, first, let me say this. These were not paving projects. You know, paving projects tend to, to happen rapidly. They're completed in a short amount of time. You know, the stuff we did on 29th Avenue, um, 10th, 10th Avenue, those projects. This is a little bit different. These are what we call water, sewer, storm drain projects, which means you got to do a lot of subsurface work. Um, and that draws these kind of um, construction jobs out a long way. Um, you're right, that was an MDA project. Um, it closed out last year. So that project's done, it's completed. Now we're looking at the uh, MDOT project. The MDOT project is similar in nature. You can look at the curb and gutter. So one part of town doesn't look any different than the other part of town. Um, they both get the same level of care and consideration throughout the, um, the, the course of construction. Now, timelines. This project actually started last August. Um, Which one, the second phase? The second phase. Okay. And we're on time. It will be completed by the end of May. Of 2017. Uh, of, two, of 2017, within a couple of months. Um, that's been the, the goal all along. Our contractor has performed in both situations within the guidelines of our grant agency, MDA for the, the first phase, MDOT in the second phase. Now these projects were done as a partnership between the City of Meridian, some state agencies, MDOT, MDA, and um, the contractor themselves. If we hadn't done it the way we did on the first one, City wouldn't have got our money back. Okay. Yeah, we would have been on the hook for about a $3 million spent on that phase. So the first phase. The first phase, 100% MDA money, by the way. Similar to this one, in nature is only 80% though. 20% of, of citizens' dollars went into this one. Um, and I know when you look at it and you scrub that down, that number gets higher because of staff time, um, some of the other intangibles. But the bottom line is, we were very fortunate to get projects that other cities hadn't had in the sense of having someone else invest in our downtown infrastructure, which is great. And that's what this is all about. It's, it's making downtown you know, what it can be and improving um, conditions. You know, some of this stuff hadn't been looked at in over 100 years. I heard when I went back and they did the research from community development, they told me that a lot of uh, what you, you're talking about now, the last time that we dealt with some of this infrastructure was back in 1909, which had put us about 108 years ago. And a lot of the changes that had to be made from the architects, the engineers, and the plans that the construction team had to deal with, they had to redo all new plans based on what they didn't know that was up under the ground. So can you talk about some of the work that your men did and some of the work that the construction team had to deal with to deal with the water and the sewage issues and also the, like you said, the old train tracks that were underground here? No matter how good records you have, sometimes you miss things. Well, you can imagine if those records are over 100 years old. Right. So there was no way to fully understand or know what we were going to find. Yeah, did we think there were brick streets under, underneath the asphalt? We did. Did we think there were possibilities that you would find other structures? Absolutely. But you can't really quantify you know, some of those, those, those impasses you're running to until you actually get in and do the work. This project there, as I'm saying, it's moving a lot faster because we you know, went through that learning curve. So we, we were able to hold to a much tighter schedule. 